Hey guys, it's Battalion Clash Gaming again, and I'm here to showcase to you guys our recent war against, uh, you know, Veterans 3. This is was a friendly uh, matchup against uh, another CPU clan. I'm here to showcase to you guys our Tunnel 11 and Tunnel 10 attacks. First is a two star. I did his attack, and this base was attacked like three or four times, and one guy did a really good attack on this, and I was actually blew upon his attack. Uh, this one right here is like I try to gain more percentage from the beginning because my first attack on this is basically I failed because I try to focus on getting a ton off first, try to secure the first star. What I should be securing at the very beginning, focusing on is basically getting a percentage. So that's what I'm trying to do in this one right here. Putting minions on top and then get that balloons and get that black mine uh, activated because I was going to do a queen walk on this side right here. And try to get uh, more percentage. I should have dropped balloons right here while the archer tower is actually busy with the baby dragon. But instead, it's like uh, I made a mistake. I didn't realize that till the and Now I'm basically focusing on doing a queen walk, trying to get that queen like right away. Uh, one of the guys did the queen walk right there and it died. Um, that's why I had that poison spell, rage spell ready. And this one right here, um, the ego activated. Well, as soon as I dropped the fifth field, that's why I had to activate her ability like right away. Instead of using the boulder, also I used the Valkyrie on this one right here. So I try to secure her percentage now. I mean, basically, I got like a 52% and I'm trying to get more, but. Uh, Problem was, all my healer died, so she didn't really last very long, and the ego is still alive, of course. I'm gonna show you guys. This is a fail, but I'm just gonna show this anyway. But uh, this is just for reference, so just in case we see the base, because this base is like really familiar. I don't know how many times I've seen this base every time we face a CPU clan. It seems like this base, uh, they use this base a lot. I think this was from a Dark Looter clan, and Dark Looters is one of the most, uh, basically, dominant clan in the CWL, and they also make, like, good bases. As soon as they make a base and somebody sees it, they're basically seeing the base, like, right away. I know I've seen this base before. Then I'll fast forward that. Could have used a skeleton spell like right there. Could have probably used it for uh, more percentage, like on the army camp right here, since they are very, very low um, hit points. But it's still good nonetheless, though, I guess. Like 61%, 62%. I mean, it's a tunnel 11, but you know. Uh, this one right here is a really good percentage by battleship. It's a real, really good attack. Oh, one thing I hate about this is like it's showing like the how the AI the queen is actually you know she's really stupid for me for some reason. She does her own thing like most of the time. Like when I do a queen walk, I used to be able to anticipate what she does. Now it's like it's way different than what she used to be. It's like way stupider now than what she was before. Now the queen died because of, uh, I don't know what she, what she was trying to do. But this one right here is trying to secure more percent. But you already got a 50%. All you need now is basically to try to get a town hall. And luck enough, he's got a jump and three Valkyries left. That first one right there, I don't know why he did that. Why he dropped there. I guess he's trying to get the 
breaking the wall and all that stuff. But he, there is already a broken wall right there. Could have used the jump, like what he did. Fifty four fifty four percent is not bad. But you always want to have like a sixty percent and up to actually guarantee like uh, uh yeah basically you know a high percentage for just in case there's a tie. This one right here was also attacked by battleship before, and I was able to improve upon his attack. Um, I use the difference that I. There's only very little difference on this one right here. I basically I didn't wait for the baby dragon to drop to die, so basically I started dro dropping all the troops that I can, and I dropped the spell first. So as soon as basically the golem, you know the the bowlers and all that, they're already enraged from the very start. I started dropping the you know dropping the rage and try to anticipate where they're gonna go and all that stuff. They don't really need that. Now uh, this one right here. Um, I think I failed in this uh, entry right here for a, a little bit because uh, I could actually use the you know the ridge a little bit uh, on the top side, so they could actually benefit it from it. But uh, I centered the ridge, and so used to like uh, dropping the ridge like that. Now it's like you know, uh, bi big mistake is like when you do that, you need to actually get the tail end so they get uh, they leave on the front end. And they get more uh, benefit from that rage spell. No, fifty-two percent again. Another uh, attack right here. Um, I'm just showing this just for reference. So when we see the base again, we know what to do. So you kind of like anticipate the where the giant bombs are gonna be. You pretty much expect that it's gonna be here. So. You, if you're going for tunnel 11 versus 11, you already know that you have to go for the eagle first. And then worry about the, you know, this guy. <laughs> this guy's second. really perfect timing because you know they basically caught all that uh, giant bomb I don't know why he used the now I realize I don't know why he used the because he could have used another rage right there could have just used the jump instead of the earthquake spell oh well, I didn't even realize that Now moving on to our dip attacks, most of the clans they don't show like dip attacks but you know most of the dip attacks are kind of like boring anyway but I'll still show it just for uh, oops, just for reference. Number 6 and this one right here is like uh, most bases were attacked by a uh, bitch attack I think there was only one attack by a lalo attack. I wish I see more hog attack. Like from our team though, I couldn't wait till I actually uh, get my heroes, my troops up for Tunnel 11. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff, uh, different stuff than my clan is doing. Because, you know, Tunnel 11 is basically way, way different than Tunnel 10. And, you know, with the Tunnel 11, Tunnel 10, basically, you get the Grand Warden and the extra spell. So that's a really, really, really big deal. Uh, tunnel 10 right now is basically like in the middle. You have to be a really, really good attacker to be able to three star a base. Tunnel 11 got more, uh, it's the same thing. But since there's the Grand Warden and also the extra spell is also a plus. And plus, you have better troops also. So that's, that's really a big deal. I don't know why it keeps popping that uh, icon right there, but and basically right here, doing an attack. This one was attacked by Cream. He's basically he's the uh, clan leader for uh, this clan. He's a really really good uh, 
Lalo attacker and I've seen his attacks all the time it's like I'm always impressed with his attack it's kind of weird it's like how he make this uh, look so easy with a Lalo I couldn't even do this I mean a tunnel 10 can basically if you get a tunnel 10 attacker you can pretty much do the same thing that he did you know it's like the only problem with me is like my tunnel 10 is the execution of the the balloons I mean the Lalo portion of the attack I can do the entry like pretty well but the problem is the Lalo, the timing and all that stuff. He makes that look really, really easy. A new member of a clan kicker is like he's doing very, very well. So far, he's always six pack in our dip attacks, and that's really well. That's really good. That's all we needed, really. Hopefully, that uh, when we uh, face a, a good clan, you know, he's able to do this also. That's weird, though. He did the entry with a wall breaker on the side, on both sides. Could have probably just used a, uh, you know, this hill spell right here. They didn't really need it though, but he used it anyway. Basically, overkill this base. My computer, this tablet is so slow, so it start lagging when it start doing that uh, super speed, four times speed. Try to save as much time as I could. That's why I'm speeding it up four times. But as soon as you uh, you see the base, you pretty much have an idea of what he did. Basically, do a start, you know, the Lalo portion of that attack over there, and basically just uh, you know, watch that from there. Don't know why you use a wall breaker and then jump like right there. I guess he wants to do the jump like in here. That's what his plan was. This base was basically uh, it was basically wrecked, but oh. Uh, I was watching this, it's like, oh man, I think he failed this attack because he missed that, you know, Inferno over there. Basically, all his, the right side basically got demolished. He was obliterated, like, uh, really early. And I was kind of worried about this because the queen dies, it's like, you know, basically everything is, like, dying. But lucky enough, though, it's like, because of the bowler in the end, uh, they pretty much get a good balance, like, everywhere, and basically destroying defenses right here. And if the Inferno doesn't have a defense behind it, it's basically useless. So you can see it's like very slow. And then you get a good bounce like right here too. So it wasn't bad. That base right there also was used like twice, which was really weird. There's a base down below that looks just as like the same. I don't know why would you do that when you have like an arranged war or whatnot. That was a perfect ability. But this one right here was like barely uh, escaped the fail. <laughs> Because of the the way the way Aussie was attacked was uh it was kind of weird. You get the queen's ability and still you know you, it's pretty much. Everything was saved up. I don't know if the heal spell in the end kind of worked out, but yeah. I think this is the same, yeah, this is the same base. Basically, it just looks the same. Doing a bitch attack. It's kind of like watching the bitch attack. It's like so boring, but you know, this is the best that you can do to three star a base. There's like two ways bitch attack and the Lalo, the go Lalo attack. And you know, most most of our guys are actually not pretty good at uh, Lalo. It's like you've seen a lot of fails uh, doing that attack. And this one right here, we have less fails using this attack. 
this one right here barely even like you know barely three star the base fortunate enough there's like there's a golem in there that I actually basically tank for the This one right here, I failed this base really, really bad. Um, I did the entry, I did everything that it's supposed to be doing, but I don't know, it's just something in my Lalo attack that's not doing right. It's like the timing, the spell, and all that stuff. When the timing is right, about uh, on a, when you do a Lalo, it's like everything goes perfect, you know. He made this look easy, but I think the problem with me is like sometimes I release a spell too early. And this one right here, that's one of my mistakes also. My plan was to actually get that Inferno, the Expo, and the Air Defense, but instead I missed it. And the Air Defense was up. And all my uh, Hound actually died so fast. He made this like, uh, this guy right here makes, makes it like really look so easy. Mm, and this is the last attack for our dip attacks. Our dip attacks were like 100% successful. <laughs> it's just our tunnel 10 is like struggling right now. If I get, if we get our tunnel 10 game up, like able to three star like tunnel 10 versus tunnel 10 like consistently, will be a really dominant clan. It's more like CWL worthy clan and stuff. Because our tunnel 11s are like pretty good. We haven't three star a tunnel eleven. I think we three started once, I believe, but not really consistent. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys next time.